This program is proudly brought to you by the YJFL Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the YJFL in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Complete Sports Management. I'm Abu Weed here with Fitzroy coach Robin McKenzie. We just saw Fitzroy take on Ivanhoe. Uh, came away with a pretty big win again, Fitzroy. How are you feeling about the game as a whole, coach? Yeah, I'm um, pretty relieved in the end, really, because uh, just at the beginning I thought Ivanhoe were terrific. I know the scoreboard probably shows different, but um, they really took it up to us. And uh, I think our guys just probably saw the positions on the ladder, first versus eighth and uh, played accordingly early, and, and Ivano, to their credit, just came out firing, and our guys were caught on the hop a bit, so. Yeah, yeah um, fair enough, and um, it was uh, sort of a kind of game like that. Um, they came out with 17 players. Did you expect a little bit more from your boys? Even though the, the scoreboard did show a big margin, did you expect a bit more? Yeah, oh, look, that's another credit to Ivano. So they did have 17, we had 21, um, so we had more rotations. We should have been the fitter team. Um, yeah, they were a bit flat-footed, our guys, so uh, that was a bit of a concern early, but um, as I said, it was really hard to motivate them, and it shouldn't be, because uh, the, the boys uh, know they're in the finals now, but um, once again, full credit to uh, Ivano. Yep, and um, you had some uh, outs today, uh, the biggest one of all, uh, Sonny Brazier probably. Um, you spoke to us about some positional changes, uh, how did you uh, approach that? Yeah, well, it just opens the door. Sonny's been terrific for us in the middle. Um, had a bit of a concussion um, problem from last game. So he sat out this week. And um, so that made an uh, opportunity for the guys like Miles Nelson to uh, jump into the middle, and uh, as in the starting four. And he was terrific. He just uh, stood up, you know, heads and shoulders above the rest of them. So we're really pleased with Miles' efforts. Yep. And, um, of course, lastly, uh, Zach Connor's 100th game. Came back to the side, played his 100th. How are you feeling about him? Yeah, oh, look, it's great. He's had to really bide his time. He's been waiting for a while um, to get into a really strong lineup. Um, played a lot of games down in our second uh, team, but um, finally got his opportunity. Happened to be his 100th game today, and uh, we thought he was great. So he's a really good contributor, and um, that's, that's really healthy for us for the future. Yep, thank you very much, Coach, and uh, congratulations. Uh, join us next week. Next, uh, Nikhil with Ivanhoe. Hello, this is Nikhil from Ivano Park. We have just witnessed a match between Fitzroy and Ivano. Uh, I'm here with the head coach of Ivano, Frank. Uh, Frank, uh, once again, uh, 17 players on the pitch, but today was a very good performance, wasn't it, though? Yeah, look, we, we spoke about it after the game. We're really happy with, with our efforts all game. We, we came with intensity to put some pressure on them. I thought third quarter was probably the best quarter, but, yeah, they fought it out right to the end, so really pleased with the boys' efforts. Yeah, uh, the scoreline might seem a bit flattering, but uh, that wasn't the case, was it? The boys really put in the effort, and as I heard you saying during the team talk, it was quite inspirational stuff, actually, during the third quarter. You won the third quarter also, and uh, was it something specifically which you said during halftime which uh, prompted that kind of response? We just tried to set the tone for the game with, with our tackling pressure and just our efforts around the contest, which we really pleased with all game. We just thought our disposal was going inside forward 50, let us down. But, yeah, we spoke about it at the start and we wanted to make that a real focus on a game. And uh, to the boys' credit, they did that. So, really pleased with that. Yeah, and uh, Hamish wasn't available for the match, but did, he did show up. And uh, that's the kind of captaincy traits which you want to see in your captain, was, don't you? Like, he was the runner today, and uh, that's, that was, that's what builds the team spirit, doesn't it? Absolutely. Look, we were missing a few players with uh, the boys that got their school first football grand final on next week, so they weren't eligible to play this week. But Fitzroy had the same story, so yeah, all in all, probably evens at the end of the day, both sides were missing players that are playing in school football grand final. But yeah, pleasing to see the boys come out and support their teammates and, and help out in whatever way they can, so it's good. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, we are like building uh, good positives out of each match, and uh, the next week maybe you can build on to get a win, and uh, let's hope that happens. All the best for that, and uh, this is Nikhil from Ivano Park signing off. See you next week. Thank you. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.